They've lost a franchise record 18 games in the month of April, and what has been most problematic of late, the bullpen. Case in point, Monday's game with San Francisco. The Phils watched a 5-0 lead evaporate as the pen walked seven men from the sixth inning on, including the game-winning run. Larry Boa had one word to sum up things. Ridiculous. Padilla, Vincente Padilla, not ridiculous. Although he has ridiculous stuff. Hard grounder to the outfield. Marlon Anderson on the Barry Bond shift. You're out. Padilla perfect through five. Bottom 7 3 1. Foley's. Bonds up. Padilla still pitching. A little bloop to Jimmy Rollins. Shifted behind second. About 19 players on the right side of the infield. Bonds over three at that point. He did get a base hit. Top nine. 3 1 Phillies. Pat the bat. Facing Aaron Foltz. And Pearl rips it down the line. He was two for three. Mike Lieberthal scores. Then Bonds bobbles it. That allows Marlon Anderson to come on in. Phillies up five to one. Two batters later. Jimmy Rollins, little fella, big pop. Can I get a hand clap? You, we need as many runs as possible because the bullpen's still going to get involved in this one. Rollins' first trot of the year. It's 8-1 Philadelphia. As for the pen, Jose Mesa in the ninth. Giants got to run in, two on. Sanders, though, a little number. And Mesa gets the last out. Gave up a run, but hey, they had a big one. Touchdown lead here. They couldn't let that go. The Phillies snap a six-game overall losing streak and an eight-game road skid. Barry Bonds had that hit I mentioned, but he's got no home runs, no RBI in the last 10 games. Devon Hernandez has lost consecutive starts for the Giants after opening the year 4-0. First time this year he's allowed more than two earned runs at a start. Reds Dodgers, Kevin Brown off the DL, testing his tender elbow for the first time since April 13th. This will test a man's patience. Adam Dunn going yard for the third straight game, fifth homer of the year for Dunn. Two zip Reds, Brownie, five innings pitched, five hits, two runs, five Ks. Bottom two, two outs. Dave Roberts looking for a little two out knock, but Austin Kearns got it. Very well done. Top nine, what does Kearns get for his trouble? He gets cranked in the head by Giovanni Carrera. Check out the replay, it's not good. Blows his helmet right off. Sean Casey knows all about this. He's been hit a couple of times, still hot about Sunday's bruise that Felix Rodriguez gave him. Kearns bloodied by the incident he would leave the game. And then next batter, where hits Corky Miller. I think Cincinnati can be upset about this. The team's gonna be watching Carrera, even if he's just a little loose with it. Wilton Guerrero. Well, you know, he doesn't have to be far to be effective. He drops in there. Long drive and a Scores a run. Reds win it by a count of three to one. Adam Dunn, one for three, two RBI. He's got four homers, seven RBI over those last three games. Chris Rietzma is his first decision of the season, although the Reds have won his last four starts. The stadium lifetime, top of the first. Two outs, one on. That's the end of that. Jermaine Dye looking. Bottom of the first. Here come the Yankees. One to nothing. Barry Zito in a tight spot. A tight spot. Tight spot. Shane Spencer brings home Jason Giambi and Jorge Posada. It's 3 nothing Yankees. Two runs single there for Spencer. And next up comes big fella, Ron Coomer. Ron Coomer of Zito. Zito 16-5 and five in night games in his career. And this puts him down a sixth spot in the first. The Yankees have won 32 games in a row and are 86-5 and five in their history when they've scored six in the first. You can win some games when you do that. Wells with a big lead, cruising along, a couple of runners on, he freezes die again. Top of the fifth, 6-2, two. two on, two out, Eric Chavez, two, two pitch, this guy says that's a swing. He swung the bat, come on, Blue! Well, that time he did. Four Ks for Boomer, hour and 47 minute rain delay, 250 folks left at the end of it, and they were probably overserved. I'm just guessing. Wells, 18-6 and six in April since 97, this is his second 4-0 start. The other one came in 93. Oakland's lost nine of their last 11 at Yankee Stadium. News not great for Andy Pettit, the Yanks lefty, probably out of action until late May because of pain in his pitching elbow. An examination on Monday found tendonitis, but no structural damage to the elbow. Pettit intends to rest for about 10 days and then reassess, see how he feels. M's White Sox, Joel Pinero. First start of the season for the Mariners, and he treated it like a relief appearance. He went two innings, six hits, three runs. Look at Ray Durham laying one down. That's a bunt for a base hit. Also going to advance Kenny Lofton. Next batter, Frank Thomas. Three for 20 slump, and if it's possible to unslump, that kind of base hit will do it. Double for Thomas, couple runs to score. White Sox are up 5-3, and look at Durham hustling the whole way. You like to see that. Next batter, Megalo Ordonez. He's got a much more leisurely pace about him. Everybody gets to walk home now. New baseball, please, up. His sixth home run of the season. Sox up 7-3. They win it 8-4. And hand Seattle its first road loss of the season. Now 
10 and 1. Sox stopped their own blundering a win after getting swept 32 to 5 for the weekend by the A's are now 9 and 2 at Comiskey this season. Sox Orioles by the end of Tuesday night Darren Oliver will have something in common with Frank Viola. We'll explain. Oliver got some help from his mates. 2-0 Red Sox. Jay Gibbons with a shot to left. And Manny Ramirez, he is learning how to play that wall quite nicely. Gibbons, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. You're out. Poor defense. Oliver facing Jerry Harrington to Noma. Noma extended his hitting streak to 14. And also, oh, that is nifty. Nifty glove work. Top of the night. Two outs. Jeff Conine. Swing and a miss. Game over. 4 nothing win for the Red Sox. A complete game for Oliver. That's it and that's all. Earlier we told you. Well, Frank Viola, what did he do? 4 nothing shutout. April 18th, 1993. That was the last shutout at Fenway by a lefty. In between, Red Sox lefties have made 137 stats without a shutout. It's the third time in eight meetings this year that the Sox have blanked the Orioles. Ray Sanchez had a home run, his first in 1,094 at-bats. Top first runners on first for Brian Giles and Brian, Stephen, Josh, you get in this house right now. Hampton goes seven shutout innings, allowing three hits. Bottom third, Juan Uribe off Dave Williams. Williams gets up, makes it. Now, Williams going to have to ice up that leg. He had a shin problem, and, and near as I can tell from my anatomy books, the, the leg is a long way from the heart but and the brain, but it affected him. There was a balk. And then Gary Bennett, base hit. Benny Agbione, who got in the free base, hustles home. Benny's a bit of a stocky man. He might have to ice up after running around the bases. <laughs> zip. Ben Hampton, he's a hitter. Singles, Ortiz scores. Rockies up 3-0. Next batter, Juan Pierre and Williams. Oh, throws over. We got another balk. Two balks in an inning. Same at bat, Williams. Ouch. Hits Pierre. That's, that's a little bruise. Two batters later, Rockies lead 4-0. Larry Walker gets plunked. Two hit batters. It, it's just all bad. Todd Helton, two for five. Drove in three. Rocks led 6-0. They go on to win at 10-0. The Bucks seven-game road winning streak has just gone away. Hampton, his first win in his last eight starts dating back to last year. So basically, he got the reverse lead-in mojo there. That'll work. He's the 36th active pitcher with 100 career wins. He's now 9-3 lifetime against the Pirates. We got to go to Bob. Mets Steinbeck's Mike Piazza back in the lineup for the first time since April 23rd facing Rick Helling. He's got the bad hamstring. Oh, boy, that's headed to the water. Hey, wait, you're not the regular pool boy. The buckle, the teal, the buckle, buckle, Number six whale, whale, on the buckle, season buckle. is voice for Mike Piazza. Then you got Roger Cedeno, Ernest Jr. Spivey, the nice pick, but Robbie Alomar, clever slide, gets in under the take. 4 nothing New York. Same inning. Piazza again oh, with one on. Oh, and that's over the green wall <laughs> off Rick Helling, who also grooved one to Joe McEwing. Piazza, fifth RBI of the game, and 6 nothing. Top third, 9 nothing. Piazza with the base is loaded. This off B.A. Brian Anderson, Mark Grace makes the stab. B.A. beats him to the bag, but the run scores. Six RBIs, a Mets high for Piazza. Now bottom third, stake to a 10-1 lead. Al Leiter against Luis Gonzalez with the base is drunk. One, one. Gonzo, Robbie Almar's got that one. That's the hard one, a little flip to McEwing. That's the easy one. Two outs there, the Mets win it by a count of 10-1. to one. Al Leiter gets his first ever win against the D-backs. Entered 0-1-3 with an ERA of five and a half. He has now beaten every team in the bigs. That's 30 of them, all of them. First guy in the majors ever to do that. Marlins, Cardinals, and this is Kuki. Top seven. Actually, they'd be at bottom of the seven. They're playing at Bush. 6-2 Fish. A.J. Burnett no, facing Tino. Now, Tino hits it to Luis Castillo. He makes the nice catch. Throws it to first, but no one's there. <laughs> but Charles Johnson, he's paying attention. Throws to second. Albert Pujols is doubled off because he didn't tag. Now, Jeff Torberg comes out to see if Chip Edmonds touched second on the way back to first. He tells Burnett to appeal to second base. So, after a pause, Burnett, go ahead and throw to second. This ought to be pretty easy. Comes to the set. Whee! He throws it into center field. Oh, no. We've got bad news bears situation. Was Edmonds out? We will never know. He's safe, but it's okay. The Marlins go on to win 7-2 thanks to Cliffy. Floyd had two home runs. He's got 10. 13 for 34 in his last... 10 games. A.J. Burnett is slinging it, by the way, for the fish. For the third time in his last four starts, he does not allow an earned run. Mike Lowell swinging a hot bat. Four hits, average up to 385. He said if it were September 30th and he were hitting 385, he'd be pretty happy. Braves Brewers, Greg Maddox coming off a awful start. Bottom second, Maddox, Jose Hernandez, and okay, everything's back to normal. Maddox is grooved. Nelson Figueroa lines it to Wes Helms. He makes the leaping catch. Mad Dog still in good shape. Now, the base is drunk. Figueroa 
The pitcher turns on an inside pitch, two runs single, scoring Sexton and Tyler Houston. The Brewers go up four to three. And that's the score they win by. Nelson Figueroa settles down after giving up three to the Braves in the first. He gets his first win in his last eight starts. The Brewers end a six-game slide. And they've now got a record of two and nine in one-run games. Greg Maddox drops his second consecutive start. One earned run his first three. Well, actually turned into blackjack. Angels, nine through seven innings, and in the eighth, well, let, let's take a hit. So you got a nine, and then you get an ace there on the Darren Erstead homer. What are, you, what are you looking at there? I would call that 20 and stick, but if you get greedy, you can hit it. All right, Troy Gloss hitting again on the 10. Tim Salmon hitting the ribs. That's worse. Single, bases loaded. Our blowers and courts a wild pitch. So the Angels draw another eight. Now, that to me is 21. But if, I'm done. You won't, pay me. You won't play the hard way. We can make it 11 and keep going. Scott Spezio singles to center. Hey, okay. Now you got That's a deuce. 13. Now you got 13. You screwed everything up. <laughs> David Eckstein, for the first time in about six weeks, didn't hit a grand slam. Just a double. Angels get another ace. Uh, this is the hand is lousy. I do not know what the dealer is holding. Troy Gloss singles. Angels draw another. A lot of deuces in this deck. We got 16. You have to hit 16 regardless. All right, here comes Jeff. There you go. They hit it. He hits a long way out of the park. Pinch hit home run. Angels That's got it. a three. You we hit 19. You hit 19 at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. The pit boss will visit you. <laughs> well, we just hit it. Adam Kennedy singles to left. Another ace. That gives one, two, three, four, four of them up there. And we got Quit. 20 again. We're living dangerously. Devan and in singles again. We got another ace. We got like 42 cards up there. Blackjack, you get free Belgian waffles for a nine card 21 anywhere. Binions oh, will give right. it to you. Let's hear it for the 99 cent prime rib special. The Angels actually got a face card in the eighth of 10 to make it 19, then the deuce <laughs> in the ninth. Easily Cleveland's worth Gloss is moving to Jacobs Field. Most runs by the Angels in 23 years. Gloss, Ersted, Molina, Nieves. If you didn't get at least three hits, those guys did. You don't get your name mentioned. What's 13,000 in metric, by the way? That's how many people basically Small. showed up at Sky Dome. Smallest crowd ever, and they could have seen Rafael Palmero get his fourth home run in seven career at-bats off Luke Prokopek early on, and that was historic. I'll explain in a moment. Alex Rodriguez, could you give me some of my eye drops? They give me the superhero powers that let me do this. A conduit to the heavens. That's 250 for A Rod. Also historic. Explain that. Next time Palmero comes up, Prokopek. I don't know if Luke's sending a message at 83 miles an hour, but he did hit him. Kenny Rogers, who was not shown, moves to 3 0. He's given up two runs or fewer in all six starts. Texas has won three in a row. That's a season high. That double raised twins. Minnesota won the series opener. Bottom first, one on, two out. Well, there's no I in team. There are two eyes in Torrey. Torrey Hunter, a two run homer. That's his ninth. That leads the AL. It's 3 0 in favor of the Twinkies. Top four. Kyle Loesch here. A little something he learned from Stu Clyburn down there with the New Britain Rockcats in double A. He uncorks one. And that must be gas because it pierced the screen. Look at that. Right through the fishnet. Old Stu tells him to oh, chuck it at the yeah. mesh. We're going to need a mending kit. Look at it again. And you know, the chicks, they dig me because a lot of times I wear the fishnet. I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I've seen you. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Top four, one on, two out, same score. Loesch, a little better command here against Greg Vaughn. Vaughn's having a tough goal, but over his last 33, his average below a buck. Oh, 099. Chris Gomez. Well, this will send you to Ophers. As always, it's not a Twins highlight without a Torrey Hunter. Great catch, and there it was. Twins win it by a count of 6-3. to three. Hunter's nine homers are a club record for April. 39 hits tied Kirby Puckett, Paul Molitor. But same player, same pitcher, same payroll in Detroit on Tuesday. Of course, Miserac loves company, so there's Steve Miserac. He's a full player, but it's close enough for the highlight. Cue Damian Jackson for his first base hit of the season. Came in 0-4 for 4 in a couple of games. Finishes three for four, three for eight on the season. Chain Halter chasing home Mike Rivera. Just like that, it's a 4 1 Tiger lead. And just as smooth, Steve Mitchell. That's part of a three piece suit that the Miz is working there, ain't it? There's a, and there's a lot of material yes, in that thing. Top five. Steve Sparks and Knuckleballer, but he brought the gas there. 76 miles an hour to get Donnie Sadler. Miz, you know, knuckleballs, pool balls, it's all about the same. Tigers win 9-3. New manager, old result. KC 8 and 16 now. A year ago they hit May at 10 and 15. Mizrock didn't overthink this one. Said there wasn't a whole lot of managing involved. We didn't hit much and the pitching was mediocre. Go top second they'll score Delano to Shields against Brian Lawrence, who's been an animal at home, and that one just saved him, saved himself some stitches. Got an out. Lawrence, seven to third, six hits, one earned run, two walks, two K's. Bottom eight, Sean Burroughs. 
Now he's a rookie, which means he's a youngin. Youngin. Which means he's he's free, he's loose, he's easy, he's stretched out, he's going for three bags. Still haven't scored, he's in there. Padres win it 2-1. Astros foes Roy Oswalt on the top of the second gives up a single to his opposite number Javier Vasquez which scores Orlando Cabrera Vasquez complete game five hit shutout in this one two batters later Peter Bergeron gonna lay down this squeeze the suicide Michael Barrett comes in perfect fundamental Spose up three to nothing bottom six home team down four love Craig Biggio has a dirty hat and a bat and he swings it Oh, Vlad Guerrero makes it exciting, but the Expos end a seven-game losing streak too huge.